Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the hydrocopper water block and backplate onto an EVGA 780 classified. If you flip the card over, you'll see that there are a number of screws that we need to remove first. After you remove them, just put them off to the side. We won't be needing them anymore. Now we can remove the heatsink and ACX fans. Just be careful when disconnecting the LED cable. As you can see, most of the bulk of the card is dedicated to cooling. The GPU that does all the work is actually very small. With the heatsink removed, we need to remove the thermal paste on the chipset. Using isopropyl alcohol, remove the thermal paste and allow it to dry. Now we can remove the plate that covers the memory. Gently pry on all sides, but it should just pop off because the thermal pads are adhesive. Make sure none of the thermal pads are still on the memory before continuing. You can use the included thermal paste with the water block, but you can use any thermal paste of your choice. Take a pea-sized amount and put it in the center of the chipset. If you want, you can spread around for better distribution. Take your water block and peel off the protective film. Connect the LED cable. Now install the GPU shim and four smaller silver screws. Line up your water block to the graphics card and merge the two together. Grab one of the two longer silver screws and screw it into this corner. Now grab the silver bolt, washer, and nut and secure the DVI bracket. Before we can mount the backplate, we need to remove the shim screws. Here's a tip. To keep the shim from sliding around, grab four toothpicks and put them in the holes as you remove the screws. To straighten them out, cut the tips. Now line them up to the corresponding backplate holes and slide the plate down. Remove the toothpicks one at a time and reinstall the screws. Now we can put the 13 screws into the positions and the longer silver screw in the other corner. You can use either set of screws that came with the backplate or the water block. Look down the backplate to make sure it doesn't have a bow in it. If there is, you probably missed a screw somewhere before putting the plate on. Make sure to remove the protective film from the water block. Now we can put the fittings on the water block. The configuration may vary, but this is the common setup for a single GPU. Before we install the plugs, make sure to add some Teflon tape just in case. Screw in the plugs with a 532nd Allen key. You can use the included compression fittings, but I'm going to use my own for this card. Use the same method as before and your card is now ready for water cooling. 